today on Logan Lee Adventures. It's all about indulging into two of the biggest vices the city is all about: food and nightlife. Good morning, Hong Kong. So, the housekeeper, Eddie's housekeeper, made me some really yummy breakfast of classic eggs and bacon. And then I was chilling with this view. Oh, I can never get tired of this view. It's just so stunning. I didn't know this. The apartment has free shuttle buses that runs to the center of the city, which is right down there, as you saw. And it goes every single half an hour. So I've been taking the taxis into the city, which is nice and convenient. But I'm gonna give the shuttle buses a try. I just can't believe this whole apartment has free shuttle buses that takes you around. I took a little detour from the shuttle bus and it turns out that this is Hong Kong Zoological and Botanical Gardens just right in the middle of Hong Kong Island. So I was walking down and just stumbled upon this place. So pretty cool. You can hear the animals. I see the moons. Flamingos. So, so cool. The Hong Kong Zoological and Botanical Gardens is one of the oldest zoological and botanical gardens in the world. It occupies an area of 5.6 hectares at mid-levels, the neighborhood I'm staying in. Over 1,000 species of plants as well as mammals and reptiles can be found in the garden, all available for the public. I walked all the way down to Central, down the sketchy alleyway where I'm gonna get a haircut and into a sketchy as fuck building with this rank elevator like it's gonna shut down on me any second. Here we go. I found it. Not that. What's this? It turns out to be a really rad old school barbershop with mahogany wood finishing everywhere, antique maps and globes adorning the space. And most importantly, now I'm feeling fresh. That was my barbershop experience. I absolutely love my cut. It's usually the haircut that I usually get um, every three to four weeks. Uh, usually three weeks, but if I'm lazy or traveling, sometimes it's more. The city is magnetic and truly its own world within a city. Wandering around the streets in of itself is a fun thing to do in Hong Kong. But I'm wandering with a mission to find food. Guys, I finally made it to Kampung, or however you pronounce it. So it's this little nook of a restaurant where I had to had to try. So Tracy, one of my closest and oldest friends at Western, the university that I went to, uh, recommended. She's uh, her family is from Hong Kong, so she recommended this place. So look what I have here. I have chicken. This chicken pie. Apparently, it's like a must. But it is really good. And then I have this thing called pineapple bun. It has no pineapple. But the slice of butter is just really it's a must. Must 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 in Hong Kong. Also I have Hong Kong style grilled tea. So this is gonna be my little snack after my haircut, which looks great. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dig it. Alright, let's try this pineapple bun first. The slice of butter looks absolutely amazing. Mm. The butter just melts so nicely with the whole bun. The bun is crispy and like piping warm itself. Okay, I'm gonna try this chicken. chicken. Mm. I dig this. I'm so in love with the city. It's just been so epic. Okay, so now after that, I'm gonna jump onto the next food adventure. So we're just gonna have a food adventure day today, I guess. Uh, I just have to figure my way around. It's either I'm heading that way or that way. Let's see. I feel like this way. Let's head this way. <laughs> Hi, 
finally made it to the next spot where it's the best dumplings, best soup dumplings in the in the whole city apparently. So that's what my friend Tracy recommended. To rewind and tell you a bit of a story. So me and Yuri and my boyfriend, uh, we made a pact and I kind of accidentally broke this pact just now. When he sees this video, I hope you all understand, I'm gonna message him right away and tell him how it is. But so our pact is is that aside from if we have to, if we have to have to have to, if we're with friends or family or something, um, we can't get out of it, uh, then we can't eat at a Michelin star restaurant without each other. So little did I know that I didn't tie Feng, which is this uh, dumpling soup restaurant and dim sum restaurant, is actually a one star Michelin restaurant. How does that happen? Hong Kong, you tell me. How does that happen? And so I kind of break in this pack. My order was already placed and when I was placed I was chilling around checking out the restaurant and then I see the certificate of the Michelin star. So Yurin, if you're watching this, please please forgive me and I'm gonna message you and tell you all about it and ask you for your forgiveness. But I guess that's another thing I love about Hong Kong is that you don't even know that you're walking into a Michelin star restaurant for some dumb place and it turns out it is. So I guess we can add this one. And I know that when me and Yurin are back in Hong Kong, which I know we will, it's such an epic city, I will be taking him there. I'll be taking you there, babe. So don't you worry. Until then, I'm gonna wait for my dumplings and have some tea and just cool down in this AC restaurant from the hot and humid Hong Kong city. Because this is how you eat it. So you take some bit of soy sauce into the ginger bowl. Just pour it in the ginger bowl. And then you take the vinegar and you pour it into mix it. And then you place the sing yong bao, which is the soup dumpling, into a spoon. Now I'm gonna poke a small hole to release the bowl. Put it into the spoon for a little bit, right, just like that. Uh, actually, you have to dip it into the ginger and the soy sauce. And put it in your spoon. So you can see the black truffle on it. And then next, I'm gonna just poke a little hole to release the bowl. That's it. So now I'm gonna just take a little bite. So this is black truffle with pork uh, and a little soup dumpling. It's quite cute. And let's see how it tastes like. Guys, this is so bomb. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy this. Talk to you guys soon. Guys, surely the housekeeper, Andy's housekeeper, is the sweetest person ever. So she didn't know that I was gonna go out for dinner later on. So she ordered takeout for me. And it looks so yummy. Look at that, we got some beef, and we got rice, fried rice. So this is gonna be pre-dinner for me. So let's chat out. Hey guys! So this is Risa, and Risa is Andy's friend who I just met up with, and we're having some like cute dim sum dinner together. And my first first official full day in Hong Kong. Yay! Yay! Yeah. I love not knowing like how these things are. Dive in. And to kind of like learn about the education field out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just had to be able to Hi, uh, old people. Speakeasy number two for the night. Here we go. Risa, my new friend and the Duchess of Hong Kong, thanks Andy for introducing us, had quickly initiated me into the underground nightlife of the pulsating city. Fested with secret doors, speakeasy, Hinduism at its peak, and we hopped all over town. We even ended up in Lan Kuang Fong, aka LKF, the notorious nightlife hotspot in Hong Kong at one of the best clubs in town, Dragon Eye, where her name was naturally already on the list. 
but of course, all the places she took me to that night, it was the 1920s live jazz club, the Foxtrot. A throwback to a golden era where the bartender drank with us while the band played on. In the next upcoming video, I delve further into Hong Kong, so subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a like, and come along to the next adventure.